but you said that communicative language teaching involves letting go of certain roles that both teachers and students bring to the classroom as part of this is you, I think you use the word implicit and I love that term implicit socialization in the educational process. Teachers often assume too much responsibility in language teaching and students often assume too little. And you, you, you advocate for change in this pattern if we want communicative language teaching to work. What's the first step for a teacher in the classroom and then for the students and then for the institutions? Okay, the first step for a teacher is to get rid of what we call the Atlas complex, which is I'm responsible for everything that happens in the classroom and I'm responsible for my students' success. First thing is stop calling them students, start calling them learners. Mm. If you start calling your students learners and do that, it's like a mantra. They're not students, they're learners, learners. My learners in my classroom, are I have a learner, his name is Bob. I have a learner, his name is Andrew. I have a learner, her name is Jane. Not students, call them learners. That will start to make you think differently. Mm. Um, and then when you realize, then you have to do the second thing, which you realize the learner has a mind that is equipped, it's ready-made to do something with language, right? Mm -hmm. I cannot control that. I cannot. That, that it goes back to the S-Pit quarter that the learner is on his own timetable or her mm -hmm. own timetable. They're going to organize language in a certain way that's beyond my control. I've got to accept that. So that's the second step, understanding that basic, basic thing about language acquisition. And so the, then the third step would be, okay, once I understand that, my role changes from being a teacher to an active interlocutor with mm -hmm. my learners. Exactly. So I stop teaching and I start interacting. So the first step, I forgot what the first step was already. Um, the, uh, the first step was the Atlas thinking, complex, get rid of the, the, the Atlas getting complex. Rid of the, get, Getting rid of the Atlas complex and thinking you're responsible for everything. Um, calling them learners. And yeah, calling them learners instead of students. Understanding the third thing is understanding that their heads and their minds are going to do something that you have absolutely no control over. Absolutely none. And the fourth thing is once you realize those two things, drop the name teacher because you no longer teach. You're an interlocutor. You're, you're, you're there to provide interaction. 